Usyk versus Fury rematch, Chris. We were talking heavyweights, heavyweight division. Uh, we didn't get to discuss the fight, the actual outcome of the first one. And we already have an announcement for the next one, December 21. Turkey, Big Turk, wasting no time. He's announcing his other the, the next fight in Saudi Arabia. Uh, give me your thoughts on the first fight and now the rematch. Dude, the, the first fight, amazing fight, classic fight. I feel like it doesn't get the love it, it deserves. It pinned the two best heavyweights. Uh, Usyk is just just a, just an amazing fighter for his size. Just amazing what he's done in those two divisions. And yeah, man, I'm excited for that rematch. Yeah, we I feel like we could spend an hour on on, on these two guys, but uh I'm super excited for this rematch. Um Tyson Fury, obviously, you know, brave, brave, brave giant. Weird to say that, but to get back in it right away after the that ninth round, yeah, I'm excited. All right. Yeah, the as we said, we, we didn't get a chance to talk about the first fight. I was actually in the UK. I watched the fight in Liverpool. Uh, a lot of excitement around the fight. Uh, there was a, a ton of watch parties at different pubs and all that. The fight over there was around 11 p.m., I, I'd say. Um, it's interesting because, you know, you hear the rumors, oh, people don't really care about Tyson Fury like that in the UK. They're true. You know, I think people were just there for a good fight. Um, Fury doesn't get the... Uh, the backing that other guys do, like Joshua, like Anthony Joshua and, and a lot of the other British fighters. But yeah, great fight. Uh, the ultimate, I think the ultimate deciding factor was that knockdown. You know, the the scorecards were close. Uh, one judge had it, had a Fury up, I believe. Two had a Usyk up, you know. So, you know, that knockdown doesn't happen. Fury probably walks away with the victory. It was a close one. You you heard his post fight speech, so uh, not surprised that they're gonna run it back right away. Not surprised either because Turkey Al Sheik is involved. You know we know he makes things happen. So December twenty one, we're gonna get it again. Undisputed, uh, it's gonna be a great fight. You know, uh, to me it was a fifty fifty fight. Could have gone either way. So I think the the second one might be even better. You know, because both both men know each other now. You know, they know what, well, how much they can risk. You know, going forward. So, uh, can't wait for another big undisputed fight, and I'm happy that both men, uh, will get that big payday once again. And Gio, I know that you said that you know this fight was fifty fifty, could have gone either way. Um, in hindsight, how did you score it? Did you feel like the rightful winner got the nod? Did you feel like it could have gone Fury's way? How did how did you score it? Uh, I didn't I didn't score it live, but I thought it was even. I thought uh, there was a possibility of a draw. Obviously, that that a uh, knockdown kind of canceled that out. Um, when they were reading the scorecards, yeah, I didn't know which way it was gonna go. So um, I think it could have gone either way. I probably had it six six, but as I said, the knockdown was the deciding factor. I think Fury. Banked a lot of those middle rounds. Um, uh, he even seemed to to put Usyk in trouble. He seemed at times that he was landing at will. Sometimes literally slapping Usyk. Right, he was able to land those uppercuts. Um, and then Usyk caught his second win once he was able to hurt Fury. I think it was like round seven where he busted Fury's nose. I think that's when when everything changed. But yeah, to me it could have gone either way. So listening to the scorecards. I think everybody was at the edge of their seats just kind of waiting because uh, we didn't know, you know, who was going to be um, the winner, you know, who was going to get their hand raised. But, uh, yeah, like I said, I think it was a close fight. So uh, rightfully so, I think they had they had to run it back. When you, when you saw uh, Usyk uh, hurt Fury, what was going on in your thoughts? Uh, were you shocked by that? Were you impressed by that? Did you feel, you know, that he could have gone that knockdown? Do you feel the ref game you were a little too much time? What were your thoughts on, on that round? I couldn't believe Uzik hurt him. You know, I couldn't believe Uzik hurt him because, uh, you know, he's never really showed that type of power. But then again, it seems like we've seen Fury hurt against all his opponents. 
you know so uh yeah that was, that was very very shocking um to see fury hurt like that bouncing all over the ring looking like amir khan shout out to amir man catching straight bullets but a uh, friend of the show amir khan um but yeah I, I was i was shocked i couldn't believe that he was that hurt but uh i know you're a big Usyk guy after 12 rounds how did you have the fight were you a bit nervous um because those like i said those court, court cards uh were close and and uh, one of the judges had Fury, two of the judges had Usyk, so it was close. I was nervous up until up until Usyk hurt him. Uh, I felt like the first two rounds, they were pretty competitive. I had it split 1-1, but then I saw Tyson Fury just, just go back to his boxing, and even though Usyk is ultra-skilled, ultra-talented, I just thought he was having trouble getting to the bigger man. And even though I felt Tyson was like one level on the boxing scheme below Usyk, he was just using his long arms, his his thighs. You know, he was just doing what he had to do to win. And I felt like he was bagging so many rounds. I felt like there was a moment, if you're an Usyk fan, there was a moment in that fight where you're like, oh, man, I think Usyk is, he, he's just too small. He bit off more than he can chew. Uh, Tyson Fury is just going to cruise to to a decision. And when I saw that, you know, that round where Usyk hurt him, man, I I was like, wow, look at this guy taking it to the giant. And, you know, we respect both these guys, Gio. These are the two best heavyweights, in our opinion, in the last 10, 15 years. Uh, so to see that, you, you know, you almost felt like Usyk, you know, separated himself just a bit. So when it came down to the scorecards, I would have been okay with the draw. And if they had to pick a winner, it had to be Usyk. But again, I was well aware that, in my opinion, Tyson Fury put up a lot of rounds away, uh, three to three to seven. So again, can't wait for this rematch, Gio. Like you said, I think Tyson Fury comes back, you know, better in rematches. Um, I think he will look back at the tape and see those rounds where he was outboxing Usyk, and he knows he cannot get caught again with those combinations uh, by the Ukrainian. Yeah, like you said, I, I think there was some concern if you were. Uh, new sick fan. I thought he was gonna get stopped, man. When when Fury got it going, it seemed like he was just too small for Fury. But like I said, once he caught him and busted his nose, I think it was seventh round, and everything changed, right? And Fury got uh got a little more timid. Uh, I didn't like that he was showboating a lot. You know, when he was winning those rounds, it's like, you know, that that mama mentality. You know, job's not finished. You know, and I think at the end. That came back to to bite him in the behind. But yeah, December 21st, rematch. We're going to get it again. Um, you know, it's exciting. You know, last year was great for boxing. Uh, this year, we're halfway through the year already. Uh, you know, we're, we're still waiting uh, to see those big fights we're going to get. Gallo Estrada versus Bam Rodriguez this month, June 29th, at the end of the month. We're still going to get that one. We're still getting better BFB Bowl. We're getting the rematch. Usyk Fury, you know, Canelo, we'll see who he fights September. So we're, we're getting good, good fights out here, man. 